Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Rapper 50 Cent had enough of Joy Bahar's race baiting and dismantles her on live TV. Famous rapper 50 Cent recently was on The View when he turned Joy Bahar's race baiting questions into an absolute dismantling of her on live television. The rapper known for working with Eminem and churning out hits like Candy Shop and Into Club many years ago has made his way onto an episode of The View and that's where he basically left Behar speechless when she brought up white people who call their cops on black folks for doing normal everyday things. You know, like operating a business without a permit when a child sells lemonade, but they're kids so no one really cares. There's always one miserable person making a big deal out of things that aren't big deals and Joy Behar went for it with the racial undertones. Behar asked 50 Cent whose real name is Curtis Jackson, what he thought about the situation where white people constantly call the police on black people. His answer was, more or less, that these people have always existed and they will call their cops on anyone for anything. The only difference nowadays is that people are on camera a lot more than they used to be. With so many people having smartphones with video recording technology, now almost everything is caught on camera. However, to reiterate 50 Cent's point, it's that these people are a very small group of people who will call the police on people just because they can. 50 Cent then made a point to say that they are the kind of people who will call the cops on someone for crossing the street while the light is the wrong color. He's right. These people exist and they might be miserable with themselves, so they take it out on others. Think about each time a person calls the cops on an 8-year-old who sells lemonade in their front yard. The kid is doing no harm. But the adult is just a huge negative Nancy and these types of people have always existed. Amanda Prestigicomo stated that on Tuesday's episode of The View, co-host Joy Behar pathetically attempted to bait rapper and actor Curtis 50 Cent Jackson with an absurd racial question. But it didn't go as she planned. Behar bizarrely asked the rapper his thoughts on white people calling the police on black people. It's an epidemic these days, she said. The co-host listed off examples of people calling the police on someone over something silly though Behar made it entirely about race. For example, she noted the NYC woman who went viral for ridiculously calling the cops on a little girl for selling water outside their apartment complex without a permit. The girl selling the water happened to be black and the woman who called the cops happened to be white. Of course, there was absolutely no evidence of racial bias or malice, not that this matters to Behar in the slightest. The rapper didn't take the bait. These are specific people's actions, he explained. It wouldn't matter what color the person is that person is calling the cops for anything. You think? asked Behar, disappointment in her voice. Yeah, he answered. But Behar gave it one more shot. Well, there seems to be more of it lately, she desperately said, seemingly suggesting there are more allegedly racially biased incidents in the current time, read, because Trump's in office. Well, it's being caught because of the cameras, he logically replied. It seems like Behar tried to paint a picture that didn't exist. It appears as she was fishing with the race bait, but no one bit the worm. Joy Behar and the women of The View constantly seem to portray their narrative while generating an applause from their audience, but it's unknown if they have one of those giant please clap now signs that many shows use, or use too. Joy Behar just race baited a black man to see if she could tar and feather the reputation of white people, but instead, she was left hanging and 50 Cent carried on with his conversation in a very mellow and informed manner. To make the episode even worse, another anchor mentioned to 50 Cent about cursing a lot in his music, but he's a rapper and that's sometimes just what rappers do. Sometimes musicians swear in the songs and sometimes they talk about controversial content. 50 Cent doesn't write kids songs, so if he has a few cuss words laced in his lyrics, then that's nothing out of the ordinary for a rapper. Joy Behar should stick to giving a more honest approach to her show instead of reaching for stars. This isn't the first time Behar fished with the race bait. They also dipped into Charlie Pride about him being the first black country music star. What's next? Are they going to dig up Michael Jackson and ask him about what it's like to be the first black musician to turn white? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.